All right, it's 8.30. Hello, and welcome to the weather update. It's May 17th, and a little warmer today, and we had some thunderstorms again to the north, showers and thunderstorms in areas to the north and the west. We never saw anything uh, except the clouds in the distance, which I'm going to show you here. Uh, late afternoon, we had these towering cumulus in the distance. These were uh, in cumulonimbus. These were the thunderstorms and showers over Connecticut. Uh, and then uh, around sunset, we all, they also uh, kind of... Uh, hung around too, uh, off to the north and the west. There, you could see the remnants of them. Quite pretty, uh, quite pretty uh, pictures here. Uh, as the sun was kind of going through these clouds here, these are the remnants of the leftover anvil clouds, the anvil cirrus clouds of those showers and thunderstorms as the sun was setting behind them. So quite nice out there. Uh, and uh, it was a little warmer earlier on, and then the temperatures dropped. So we're going to go ahead and look at the current temperatures right now, going to the wonder map here. Uh, and you will see that the temperatures are in the mid-60s across um, the middle of the island. South shore, around 60 degrees. North shore, mid-60s. Uh, temperatures drop. We had a really good, de decent sea breeze today. Uh, not feeling it so much in the city where it's close to 70 degrees. And let's see what you got in New Jersey here. Uh, looks like there's a bit of a sea breeze there, too, with the mid-60s around Tom's River as well. Um, and that fire, I believe, is still going to that fire. That's, uh, I wonder if we can actually see that on the MODIS satellite. So I'm going to look at that right now and see. This is where the fire is, right over here, Little Egg Harbor, which is Southern Ocean County. Um, let's see if we can actually find this in the higher resolution satellites. Let me go to this. Uh, so we'll get the high resolution. So the Cirrus is going to, that Cirrus though over there is going to make it difficult, though, to really see the fire. Um, but there is, oh, yeah. There it is, right there. See the smoke? Uh, so, yeah, there is this fire. It's still going there. Uh, again, very dry conditions. Luckily, the wind isn't too bad. Hopefully, they can get it under control. Well, I'm going to tell you the latest in another video about this. Uh, so, uh, looking again, let's go back to the temperatures here. We're going to look at some temperature profiles across the area. Uh, we're going to actually go to this map here, and we'll look at the high temperatures. So this is the weather and hazards map, which shows you the wind as well uh, with the, the temperatures there in the mid 60s so uh, but it was warmer earlier so we're going to go to the uh, look at the high temperatures today we, I think we got well into the 70s today if I'm not mistaken let's see yep well into the 70s close to 80 degrees in the middle of the island there 78 in Carl Place uh, 73 at Farmingdale Airport 75 at Islip uh, 81 in Glen Cove South Shore Cooler of course 75 in Wontaw uh, and only in the 60s at the beaches uh, let's see how it did, did in the city. Uh, let's see. It looks like LaGuardia you got up to 78. Central Park got up to 78. Um, let's uh, go into the normally hot spots of New Jersey. Let's see how they did in Tom's River. 79, so almost 80 degrees. Not quite. Not quite. Uh, and then right, been, along the water, though, eastern sections of Tom's River, uh, there was a sea breeze. But again, the sea breeze in Jersey usually doesn't make it that far west of the parkway. Uh, so you have to kind of be east of the parkway to get any sea breeze at all. That's the way it is in New Jersey. But uh, let's go uh, look at uh, at some temperature profiles now. So I'm going to go to the underground map, and we're going to look at a couple of stations. We'll first start with the Carl Place Station, which is the closest to Mineola. So I'm going to go ahead here and look at the temperature profiles and see how warm it was today. Uh, when we look at the temperature profiles, you'll see that uh, throughout the day we were in the 70s. Late morning, all the way through uh, early afternoon uh, into the mid-afternoon, and then it started dropping around 4 o'clock. That's when you could feel that breeze coming in, and the temperatures were dropping quite nicely, uh, even in the middle of the island at that time. Um, let's go look at another station on the south shore, because I'm sure if you were looking at the south shore, I'm sure it would be cooler. Uh, let's look at Wantaw here. Well, this is Belmore. Oh, we'll look at Belmore then. Oh, let's look at Belmore. Uh, and also in the uh, not quite as warm there. You can see low, more like low 70s, 72, 73. Uh, and then the drop will occur around a similar time when they dropped into the 60s while we were dropping to the 70s. Notice though the dew point did bump up with that a little, a little more pronounced than in the middle of the island. Um, you can go further out east. Uh, let's see how, uh, let's see our Canaan Lake Station from our, our uh, viewer, I believe, uh, Canaan Lake, 
Because he always has something to say. And this is uh, the Canaan Lake. I guess there's a lake in Patchogue called Canaan Lake. Uh, I think I've heard of it. Uh, it looks like a nice area. Uh, oh, yeah. He was a lot cooler. Look at that. He actually had a drop in his temperature. 60. That got down to uh, right around 1 o'clock. I wonder what was going on here. It dropped to... Oh, maybe he can elaborate. Maybe there was a shower or something. It dropped to 69. And then it went back up to into the low 70s uh, and then dropped again. So he still gets a decent sea breeze where he is. Even though he's in the northern part of Patchogue, he definitely gets a better sea breeze than you know, middle of the island places. But before the sea breeze kicked in, he was up well up into the 70s. But once around, once it got to around noon, you know, he's still, you know, if you're south of a certain point on Long Island, uh, you're, uh, you're within, say, maybe three miles of the, of the water, you will cool off uh, much quicker than the folks in the middle of the island like we, like we have. But yeah, uh, this is a Nicholas's weather station. So uh, I wish I had a weather station. That would be cool, but that ain't going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta have a house for that. <laughs> um, okay, so now we're gonna compare it to New Jersey and see. We're gonna go to the hottest areas we can find uh, and see. Uh, let's go deep into the west area, Whiting. Nor well, this says northern edge of Pine Barrens. All right, so we'll look at this station, see how brutal it was there in New Jersey compared to anything on Long Island here, because I'm sure it was a lot hotter there. He's already at 65, so he's already warmer than we are. Uh, let's see. No, actually, yeah, well, it actually didn't start heating up until later. They reached their peak more like around 4.30 in the afternoon, up close to 80, but they never really cooled off. See, because there's no sea breeze there uh, in, that, in that Jackson Whiting area that's west of Tom's River. It's even hotter than Tom's River there. That place is very, very hot. Uh, here's Whiting. Let's see. Manchester Township. So we can look at Manchester Township to show you how hot it was in Jersey. And this it's going to be even hotter as we head into tomorrow. Uh, yeah, close to 80 degrees uh, around noon. They had a couple of little drops uh, and then uh, pretty much staying near 80 degrees most of the day. So, yeah, very hot in Jersey. You know, it's the way it is. Yeah, that's how hot it is. But, uh, yeah, uh, so uh, let's... Uh, now that we've looked at the, pretty much what the weather was like today across the island, and even in New Jersey to some extent, uh, let's uh, close this up here. Close this up here. Uh, we can look one more time at the West Hampton Airport to see what they have. 60 degrees right now. Southwest wind at 7. Uh, they got up to only 73. So, yeah, that was a lot. There was a good sea breeze there, too, as well. Uh, you got to have that sea breeze if you're in the... <laughs> If you're in the, in the in the heat, it's not going to be fun. So uh, we're going to actually rewind this radar a little bit. There's nothing on the radar right now. Uh, you will see nothing on the radar right now. Very maybe a few little leftover showers. Uh, most of the activity is with the storm system centered in the uh, Midwest, and then there's also severe weather going on in parts of Texas and New Mexico, as well as looks like off the cut into Louisiana and stuff. We're not going to see any of that. Uh, like I said, we're going to be kind of dry for the next couple of days, but I do want to rewind this a little bit, use this radar function to rewind this to show you what was going on around 4 o'clock this afternoon and 3 o'clock this afternoon. You can see, if you look to the north here, there are a number of showers and thunderstorms uh, that developed over, mainly interior Connecticut. Uh, and uh, these uh, storms uh, probably, you know, could have been could have been on the strong side. Uh, they were pretty impressive, actually, on the radar, uh, you can see here, but they've kind of fallen apart now. Um, so... Let's go look at the at the uh, models, and we're going to see you see the, what the setup is here. That ridge is starting to build in the spot off the mid-Atlantic coast. That's the that's the uh, pattern that brings us above normal temperatures and heat. Uh, and as we move this GFS along, you will see here that high. Well, this ridge will stretch throughout the whole entire east coast. Um, here it is tomorrow, sitting pretty much directly over us. And then Wednesday. This is the day that's going to be hot because you can see the orientation of the ridge stretches inland. And this means, uh, we'll just uh, draw, do a little drawing here, that we're going to have that westerly flow. Uh, so uh, the, the, the air is going to go around the ridge and then come, that, come out this way. So we've got the westerly flow across our area, which is going to bring the heat in for Wednesday with not much of a sea breeze. Unless you're maybe right at the beaches or right on the south shore. It's going to be brutal on uh, Wednesday. Uh, so uh, we move this along. That high pressure continues to pretty much sit in that spot and maybe moves a little bit offshore. Uh, the, the main thing is we stay kind of dry, which is a concern for the wildfires. Here we are Friday. It's still there. Um, 
And then it looks like something, it, the models have been trying to get something tropical going for a while, but the weekend also looks above normal as we head into the weekend. And um, we need, we'd have to wait till the end of the month to, till we maybe get a cold front through uh, and, and the heat. So let's just take, let's take a closer look at our area. And I'm going to go to the ARRR, which I know we don't have the 0Z in. I'm still stuck at the 23Z run. So I have to go to the 18Z run. And we'll first start with the precipitation uh, chances for tomorrow. And barely anything. There may be a scattered shower, too. It looks like over the east end, maybe in the evening, maybe a scattered shower, a thunderstorm, perhaps. Uh, and, you know, very, you know, very hit or miss. Then we're on Wednesday. There's going to be nothing Wednesday. Uh, with that ridge. This is actually part of, I think, a little, like, front coming through or whatever that's actually going to make it even hotter once it passes. Uh, so let's go look at the temperature forecast on this as we head into tomorrow. All right, temperatures drop into the 50s tonight, and then tomorrow we go up there well up into the 70s, close to 80, I think, in Nassau County, into the 80s in New Jersey. It looks like it is developing a sea breeze tomorrow. So there should be a sea breeze tomorrow, but once that once tomorrow's over, no sea breeze Wednesday. Look at that. Well into the 80s. Uh, everywhere, and that's a f as far as I got on the H triple R. I'll have to shift over to the GFS model to show you the temperatures. Uh, and the other thing before I shift over there, I will also look at the dew points because the dew points will be staying low. Fortunately, it looks like uh, so it won't be humid on Wednesday at least. Uh, but uh, you'll see that uh, not a whole lot of a sea breeze going there. And we'll look at this more on the Ventu Sky site. Uh, but let me put this back to the temperatures, and we'll go to the GFS. Um, so you can see it's going to get up there into the 80s, uh, definitely probably 80 to 85 uh, in in uh, in the area. And we're going to look at, at this more in Ventu Sky uh, a little, yeah, a little bit after I finish this part. And you'll see it won't really drop up to, off too much at night, holding the heat. Thursday not quite as hot, more of an onshore flow. I think Long Island will probably just mainly be in the 70s, maybe some scattered near 80 degree readings. Jersey well to the 80s. I think Tom's River sees 90 this week. Good bet of it, either Wednesday or Thursday, perhaps on Thursday. And then we get this break on Friday where we could have some showers around and cloud cover, which would keep the temperatures down. But then, uh, and th this could linger around into the weekend according to the GFS, uh, which me would mean a cooler a cooler weekend with the chance of, we're going to look at the precipitation here and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, so this is the GFS and you'll see, once we get into Friday, you can see some scattered clouds and showers around and then that could linger around a little bit. Um, this, 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 this rain isn't particularly heavy. Uh, if we move this right to uh, this time on Monday, you know, we look at the total accumulated precip, and probably you could see um, not a whole lot of rain over Long Island. However, north and west, it's saying maybe uh, more rain could fall. Um, we'll have to see what happens, and then maybe that would finally end this dry, very dry period we're in, because it's very dry out. Um, but this is the GFS, and the GFS has done this before where it's indicating rain and then uh, we don't get anything. Um, there's also the ICON model. This is as far out as the ICON model goes. Um, you can see not really much rain for Friday. This is Saturday. Uh, so the ICON just keeps it dry. At least expect fairly dry conditions right through Friday. Maybe a scattered shower or two, but that's that's just about going to be it. Uh, we can look at the uh, temperatures on the ICON too as well. This is another model we can use. So you see the ICON shows a decent breeze for tomorrow. Wednesday, uh, uh, things heat up quite a bit. That's the that's the really bad day. Uh, and then the ICON seems to want to heat it up again on Thursday, uh, even more so inland. Uh, it has a 90 painted. I think Tom's River will go clo close to 90, uh, if not hit it on Thursday, and then cooler on Friday with the clouds. Uh, so uh, let's go now, speaking of clouds, let's go, look, go back to the GFS and we'll uh, look at the sky forecast. as we head into tomorrow so i think there'll be some clouds around tomorrow uh there were some uh, pop we had a lot of sunshine but there was uh, some cumulus along the middle of the island uh tomorrow maybe more in the way of high clouds i'll have to look at t a better resolution I'll wednesday probably gonna be some high clouds around probably not a clear sky with that kind of heat around thursday a lot more clouds and friday you can see after that we kind of get stuck in the clouds for a while with some unsettled weather perhaps setting up uh, as we get uh, into the weekend. We don't know if that's going to happen or not, though. We've seen this before, and it hasn't happened. Uh, so if you're getting your hopes up for some rain, uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, we're not there yet. <laughs> Let me look at the NAM. 18Z NAM here. 
Uh, and you can see clouds for tomorrow in the morning and then uh, just scattered, hi probably high clouds and maybe some cumulus. And then Wednesday, uh, probably uh, seeing some clouds in the morning maybe and then clearer skies. That actually looks like an area of precipitation across the area, but then clearer skies later on. But it won't be a nice sky. I mean, even though today we had the sun out, it was hazy. It was not a nice blue sky at all today. Um, uh, let me go to the precipitation mode, and we'll see if that is a, sh a shower that it brings through at that time. No, it's not. It's just a, an area of clouds that it wants to develop. Uh, last model, RGM. Uh, we'll look at the RGM uh, for the skies here. Now, the RGM obviously being the most bullish about clearer skies tomorrow. Uh, we have the cirrus to start, and then less cirrus by the afternoon. But then you can see that cumulus popping up, so we'll see. I, I don't... Don't expect a really nice blue sky like we had last week. I don't think we're going to see it. Uh, and then Wednesday, uh, probably a sunshine, but some haze around uh, with that heat, you know. And then uh, as we get into Thursday, probably a lot of cirrus. Uh, and as we get into Friday, not really showing a whole lot going on as far as precipitation goes. So let me go back over to Vent2 Sky and we'll visualize the heat. I'll put this at 2 o'clock. So let's uh, move this over to tomorrow here. Uh, so you get an idea of what's going to be going on. Here's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I think North Shore, middle of the island. Uh, you're going to get close to 80 degrees. Uh, at least western parts of the North Shore, Suffolk, Nassau County. Uh, the city, uh, New Jersey, you're probably going to go above that. The city in New Jersey. Uh, I'll move this along till 4 o'clock. Uh, and you'll see more of a sea breeze now developing. Uh, but you'll notice that New Jersey is not getting into that sea breeze at all. So it's just going to be for Long Island this time. Uh, it'll drop temperatures into the 70s by later in the afternoon for most areas, except maybe the North Shore. Uh, but if you're in New Jersey, unless you're right on the on the shore there, east of Route 9, you're going to be uh, well up into the 70s, close to 80 degrees still. Moving this along till 6 o'clock, you'll see Long Island getting a nice breeze. You see those those arrows streaming along. They'll be a pretty decent uh, sea breeze over Long Island. But this really tells the story here. Uh, in New Jersey, you're going to still be baking uh, while well, we're getting really fun Long Island. Uh, and then we'll move this along to Wednesday. Here's Wednesday. And we'll move this along to 2 o'clock Wednesday, and you'll see the heat. Uh, and this is the issue here. No sea breeze, at least in the early part of the afternoon. We've got uh, west to northwest winds across most of Long Island, except right at the beaches. So everybody gets into the mid-80s, I think, for your Wednesday. Mid-80s on Long Island. And Tom's River might even be hotter than that, maybe upper 80s. Um, no sea breeze at all uh, as of 2 o'clock. And then as we move this along to 4 o'clock, you'll see a sea breeze start to develop just along the south shore. If you're in the middle of the island, north shore, you're not going to feel it. You're still going to be stuck in probably 80 degrees or above at 4 o'clock. If you're on the south shore, you'll be dropping to the 70s. Uh, Tom's River, forget, you're going to be approaching 90 degrees probably. Uh, so here's, we move this along till 6 o'clock, and you'll see the sea breeze just isn't going to make it very far inland. So it's going to be very warm. Uh, night, uh, warm day on Wednesday, warm night. Only the south shore gets relief. Uh, probably, s say, south of the southern state. Uh, maybe the east end gets relief. Other than that, you're going to be in the heat. All right. Uh, and this, uh, by the way, this far out uses the ICON model. So um, here we go looking at Thursday, and you'll see 2 o'clock on Thursday, a little more of a sea breeze for Long Island. So North Shore probably still into the 80s. Looks like it's... You could be close to 90 in parts of the North Shore, like Lane Cove. Middle will probably be in the er mid-80s early, and then we'll start dropping. Uh, if you're in uh, Tom's River, forget it. You're, you're going to 90 degrees on for Thursday. I really think, look at that, it actually has a 92. You'll probably go above 90 degrees. Uh, it's going to be brutal in Jersey. It is going to be absolutely brutal. Let's move this along to 4 o'clock, and you can see, look, still brutal in New Jersey, but you can see a decent sea breeze now developing on Long Island. Temperatures have dropped into the 60s on the South Shore. Uh, middle of the island, uh, mid-70s. North Shore probably still hanging out around 80 degrees. Uh, so you see the story. Uh, if you like the heat, you can be in Jersey. Uh, but uh, look at that. As we pull into 6 o'clock, look at how much cooler it is on Long Island. And all the heat is just over New Jersey again. And I'll let me remind people, New Jersey is the fastest warming state uh, of, of any state in the United States regarding climate change. Even f uh, warming faster than any other state. Uh, New Jersey is getting hotter than faster than any other state. And it's just because of its its location. It's just in, a, in an area that's just the way the winds go. It just the heat just builds as it makes its way up the mid-Atlantic coast into New Jersey. And New Jersey just can't get... It looks like a sea breeze tries to develop later on in the afternoon, for maybe east of the Route 9, maybe. 
But other than that, it's going to be very hot there. But Long Island, uh, by 6 o'clock on Thursday, um, it'll be a lot better. So we're only going to really see really one really bad down Long Island, which will be Wednesday when we don't have that sea breeze. Other than that, uh, that's really the one day that uh, is going to really stink. And it's going to be brutal. Uh, but by Thursday, I think we see uh, some easing of the heat. But we have a whole summer to get through. So, you know, it's it's a whole summer to get through of, of heat uh, that I'm not looking forward to. Uh, so that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.